Right, race number eight here at uh, the Valar final race. And I think if you're doing your money, lump on the seven horse fuselage uh, from the Ormond Ferraris yard, the daughter of Jetmaster. Uh, I think she's going to run a very uh, big race. Right now, they're uh, having a bit of a battle with a nine horse African Dawn in the uh, parade ring. Right, Clyde, uh, all yours. What did you like here? Okay, Molly. Well, uh, I suppose it all pretty much depends on uh, the. the um, the horse that you like, Fusa Large. You have a look at her last outing, and uh, she ran to Danish, uh, who's also trained by Sinjin Gray, right? Right. And Sinjin's got cut the ribbon here. Yes. <laughs> so uh, he'd know the answer. I think da if I had to ask, uh, I, I would take a guess that Danish is better than cut the ribbon. But I, I could be wrong. I don't know. If that's the case, well, then Fuselage is the one to beat. She, uh, she's going this distance for the first time today. The question is, will she stay being a jet master out of a coastal mare? I'd imagine so. Absolutely. I mean, the mare, yeah. went, up, the mare went up to a mile and a half. Correct. So uh, you'd have to think that she'd stay the trip. I'm also working on Smanyo. Smanyo is ready. Miss Uma and Arabian Jet. And away they go from that 1800 meter mark. Tigris got out well and inside jump. Arabian Jet has gone to the lead. Cut the ribbon. Fuselage is there in the early part. And Miss Uma now goes out there to show the way under Maluka. They lead it a length from uh, just outside of uh, runners over there. Just further back in the field as he cut the ribbon at this point in time. is racing about seven or eight lengths off the leaders. And Dover Crossing has moved around runners to be up into the third spot. Fuselage is racing away in the fourth position as Fuselage is at the fence. About six or seven lengths off off the leaders right now. Imogen is further back in the field in running as well and they being followed another length or two by Smanyo who's outside of African Dawn who's seven eight off the leader. Louvers back towards their inside in running to Destiny's Lady. They've got eight or nine lengths to make up on the leader so Miss Uma leads the way. Arabian Jet is there in the middle. Dover Crossing's on the outside. Louvers back along the inside with uh, Fuselage's five lengths off the leader. Then we go back to Destiny's Lady. Cut the ribbon is between runners now. They eight or nine lengths from the leaders as they travel down into the final 600. It's Dover crossing in the middle. Arabian Jet in the red between them. And Miss Uma is there on the inside. Louver is racing in after that. Fuselage in the green is being asked to run. Has got about four lengths or so to make up on the leader. Cut the ribbon is back in behind those. Miss Uma as they come into the final 300 from Louver. Fuselage has got three lengths to make up Dover crossing cut the ribbon they still six or seven lengths back as they come to the 200 now it's still Miss Uma in front who's clear by a couple of lengths Fuselage is looking to close it down now and coming out of the pack but Miss Uma still goes Fuselage is flying at the end as they get there got very close Miss Uma and Fuselage cut the ribbon I believe will get up for third and Louver on the inside well let's have a look and uh, see what has won this race, Miss Uma under Maluka, Fuselage and Lukele now start to close them down in the last 100 metres. Miss Uma for Terry Lowe, Fuselage for Ormond Ferraris closing down all the time, those two. And they go short heads to the post. What has won is the question. Nose down, it's going to be number seven, Fuselage. I think Fuselage may have just held on very close, though, with a 12, Miss Uma. Three cut the ribbon, gets up for third, and Louver behind that back in that uh, fourth position. So, yeah, the photo will have a look and see how close that is over there as they cross the post. And there's the photo. Well, that is still close. Mm, can't tell if the mirror of that picture, unfortunately, from what we can see. So I thought uh, perhaps um, fuselage, but it is very, very close as they cross the line. Numbers are in the frame now. Number seven, fuselage got there. So number seven has won it now. The 12, Miss Uma in second. Third placing to number three, cut the ribbon. And the fourth placing to number four, Louver. Head on replay will show as they come to the 200 meter mark that it's Miss Uma on the inside. Just kept on going. Fuselage took a while to run on. And Eventually, you'll see that uh, Lokele gets behind uh, the, the filly to run on, and she does take off in the closing stages to get up right on the line and win by the shortest of short hits. Well done to the winning connections again to Team Valor International and Mr. and Mrs. Singh. That's the latest from the Vile race course. In terms of who has won here, well, we'll have to get confirmation from the judge, but I think that because um, Sam was here, um, was ahead uh, with 22 points, that you might find he'll stay on to win this uh, work 
Riders Challenge today, but more about that in the presentation later. Back to the studios. So number seven, Fuselage, the winner of the eighth and final year today. Well done to work rider Lokele and Orman Ferraris, the winning trainer. To the winning owners, Team Velo, Mr. Barry Irwin, and to Mr. and Mrs. Singh, Fuselage gets up on the line to deny number 12, Miss Uma. Third to number three on the card, Cut the Ribbon. And fourth placing to number four, Luva. At result, seven, 12, three, four. Well, in the uh, pre-race uh, tip, when I said lump on fuselage, wasn't quite the uh, finish I was really expecting because <laughs> she's got up on the very last stride. But anyway, she's there, uh, the daughter of Jet Master for the Ormond Ferraris. Hey, Pete, that was a bit of a heart-stopping uh, job there. Yes, uh, but I never panic, but I just give them four or five lengths of them. You weren't panicking. I'm panicking here. Yeah. Now, the <laughs> thing I'm very happy with, I'd like to thank Mr. Oldman and his team yeah. and the owner to give me a chance yeah. to ride a such a top horse like this it's yeah. my first day to ride for the old man and i'm very happy to have a win for him yeah nice filly beautifully bred filly it's going further going it's further. going further it's going further was 1800 too sharp today too short it was too, too short, short yes. for it today yes but you've got home that's the main thing yes and i like to thanks my trainer yeah i grow up by his farm upon by his farm so i'm quite happy because one of his uh, good riders he went to race today yeah. for him i'm very happy for him me and him and yeah. my family very well very nice winner. i'm not i'm surprised you haven't won this you've won two races he hasn't won a race he's got five grand no i will catch him if the last leg i'll catch him i just <laughs> borrow him this check for today but with the first leg, last leg it's gonna good, be my one good thinking. 